Good morning, everybody. I'm so excited that you're joining us today. I hope that you're excited it's Easter. I'm excited it's Easter. And because of that, I have someone very special joining me today before we get started. Do you want to see who it is? Her name is Peaches, and she wanted to give an extra special hi to you today because it's Easter, which is her favorite holiday, but it's my favorite too because I'm so excited about what Jesus did for us. We're about to jump into some worship, and so you guys can stand up, get ready to praise God, and we'll see you after. All right, everybody, let's stand up and worship. Come on, let's sing. He's the chosen one. He's the champion. Dancing with the hope of heaven 
closer to power. Yeah. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. I pray that every word that is worshiping with us can feel your presence as we lift up our voices and as we sing as loud as we can. Not loud, right now, please. We're going to sing as loud as we can. We're going to sing, sing, let it ring. And when you do, I want you to meet it with all of your heart, all right? All right, let's go. Sing, let it ring, let's lift your hands. so much for every child and parent that is watching this right now. Lord, I just pray that they all can feel your presence right now in the room with them. And Lord, I pray that you'll open our hearts to whatever message you have for us today. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Great job, you guys. Man, I love praising God. It is so special to be able to worship him, and especially today as we celebrate Easter and all that Jesus has done for us. We're about to hop over to Connect HQ and see what our friends are up to as they learn about Jesus and God's grace and what that means for us. But before, I wanna give you what the main point is. Are you ready? Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow him. Be ready and look out for that as we head to Connect HQ. Hey Mike! Are you getting ready to set up for the Easter party? You bet! I look forward to this party every year, it's my favorite! You always know how to make Easter parties so fun. I hope this year's is even bigger than last year's. Well, Captain Melissa said to not go overboard with the decorations, so I'm gonna try to exercise some self-control. That sounds good. She knows best. <sighs> I have to take this downstairs, but when I'm done, I'll come back up and help you set up. That'd be great! I hate it when I forget my pen. Too much? It's too much. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Harper, and this is the time I learned just how wonderful God's grace is. Hey, Harper. Hey, Captain Alyssa. Well, you don't seem like you're in the Easter spirit. Is everything okay? Well, it's just... All right, who's ready for the first Easter game I have planned? I'm ready. This sounds like so much fun. I am so excited for my first Easter with Connect HQ. I'll be there in just a second. 
I'm fine, really. Great, because when I think about the fact that God raised Jesus from the dead and we get to be God's friends, I just get so excited. I'm so happy we all get to celebrate together. Professor Malcolm, why aren't you upstairs at the party? Just finishing up a few last minute tweaks of my new prototype. <laughs> why aren't you at the party? I don't know. I know how important Easter is. Mm -hmm. I know how much we need God's grace, his forgiveness for the wrong things we've done. But I'm just having a hard time feeling it this year. Well, in that case, I have an idea. Maybe seeing the difference God's grace makes in people's lives will help get you into the spirit of Easter. How would I do that? My new prototype is called the What If Simulator. It can show us what everyone here at Connect HQ would be like if they didn't know God's grace. Do you want to take a look? Sure. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this goes. Hello, this is Connect Mobile. How can I help you? Whoa, wait, pause. Connect Mobile? It looks like without God's grace, Connect HQ would be a cell phone company instead. You're kidding. Let's keep watching and see what happens. And uh, this is the Connect Mobile Hub. Sure. One of our highly qualified team members will be able to help you with your problem. All right. Hello? Oh, hello! Well, aren't you just adorable? How can I help you? Well, my phone stopped working and I was hoping someone... Oh, look at that, I just got 10 more likes. I should probably post another selfie. I don't want to let my followers down. Uh, could you please? Oh, um, you can go ask Tony for help. I'm sure he can sort something out for you. Okay. Tony? Oh, 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 hi, hi, um, how can I help you? My phone stopped working. Oh, well, uh, it could be uh, a lot of different things. It could be maybe the charging system, or it could be the battery, or it could maybe be the screen, uh, or, or the motherboard maybe crashed. It could be a lot of different Tony, things. Tony! Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Can you fix it? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't think that'd be a good idea, um, because there's so many different, um, there's so many different ways, there's so many different possibilities that I could make it worse than it is right now, and I would feel even more miserable than how I do right now, and so I really just think it'd be, uh, I think it'd be better if you just maybe talk to someone else. Uh, hey, Jake! Hey, hey, can you take, um... Harper. Can you take Harper down to see Cat? Of course. Follow me, Harper. Are you sure you can take a look at my phone? Oh, no. I'm just a kid. I wouldn't be able to help you. Try talking to Cat. She's really good at fixing things. Cat? How can I help you? My phone stopped working, and I was hoping someone here would be able to fix it. Oh, I'd be happy to help you in four and a half hours. Four and a half hours? I have other people I need to help before I can help you, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, do you know how to fix the phone? Shh, 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 just a second. Why? I'm waiting for her to notice. No, no, go change right now. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the matter, Dot? You know how scared I am of Hawaiian shirts. Get out of here. Oh, I'm just helping you face your fear. No reason to flip out. Flip out? I'm not flipping out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mike, stop. Not again. I can't believe how different everyone was. I've never seen Alyssa and Tony so anxious, and Mike and Dot fight so much. That's because their lives hadn't been changed by God's grace. When we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives the bad things we've done, and we become friends with him. And because of that friendship, when we die, we get to be with him forever in heaven. Everyone's life can be changed by that good news. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow him. I wish I could tell everyone at Connect Mobile that. Actually... What? What if we had the What If Simulator show us what would happen if you, the Harper who knows God's grace, visited Connect Mobile? I think I'd like to see that. All right, let's see what happens this time. Alyssa, Tony, could I talk with you guys for a minute? About what? I've already told you I'm too busy to help with your cell phone. Actually, I'd like to help you. We don't need any help. <laughs> ah, my followers! Just a second. Alyssa, doesn't it ever get tiring trying to impress people all the time? And Tony, doesn't it get tiring worrying about, well, everything? It isn't pleasant. 
When we're friends with God, we don't have to worry about those things. God will always be by your side and he'll always protect you. Well, how do we get to be friends with God? It's simple. Do you want to say a verse with me? Sure. It's from the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. Romans 10, 9. Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Say with, with your, your mouth, mouth Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. Then you will be saved. Because Jesus took the punishment for our sins, all we have to do is believe that God raised him from the dead and choose to follow him as our Lord. When we do that, we become friends with him forever. That's it? You mean I don't have to constantly put pictures on my Instagram? Or worry that I'm gonna make everything worse? Or clean up my whole life before I become friends with God? That's it, that's all you have to do. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you've given us a lot to think about. Sure thing. Now if you'd excuse me, I have a few other people I'd like to talk to. So you're saying, even though I'm a kid, God can still use me to help people? That's right, it doesn't matter how young you are. Thanks, Harper. I never knew that. Sure thing. Hey, Kat. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk right now. What other things do you like to do besides work, Kat? Hanging out with friends? Playing softball? Mmm, I don't have many friends. I'm not the type of person people like to be friends with. That's not true. Can I show you a video on your tablet? It'll only take a second. Why do you have to be so out of control and emotional? Why do you have to be so disrespectful? It's not nice to pull pranks. Mike, Dot, come here so I can show you this video. I think it'll be good for you guys too. Ladies first, psych. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. Have you heard the story of how God so loved the world That He gave to all of us His only Son Jesus grew into a man, He healed the sick, He loved the lonely He gave God's love away to everyone Jesus gave it all The people followed him They'd never seen that kind of love He loved them all no matter what they've done But not everyone was happy Some of them were jealous so They made plans to kill God's only son Jesus gave it all One night while he was praying Some soldiers came to find him They took him to their roof Who didn't know just what to do They asked the people gathered Just what they should do with him The crowds crucify him Though he did nothing wrong Jesus gave it all And the soldiers tried to break him Crowds they mocked and scorned, they led him up a hill called Calvary and then nailed him to a cross. Till he asked God to forgive them, they didn't understand that it was all for you and me. Jesus gave it all. Jesus said, He is finished. Then he took his final breath. Black as midnight, and the earth began to shake, and the crowd began to tremble. 
They shook their heads and wondered And the soldier said, I know that this man was the son of God Jesus gave it all And they took him off the cross They placed him in a tomb They rolled a large round stone in the doorway of the cave Some soldiers they stood watching Making sure no one could enter Jesus' friends were sad and hopeless As they all went home that day Jesus gave it all On the morning of the third day His mother Mary came to see him To make his body ready For the grave where he would lay But the tomb, it was empty An angel came to tell her he's not here, he's risen. See the stone's been rolled away. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all. This is what Easter's all about. God loved us so much that He sent His Son Jesus to earth as a baby. He grew up, lived a perfect life, and took the punishment we deserve by dying on the cross before He rose from the dead. When we choose to follow Jesus, we don't get what we deserve. We get something so much better. We get to be friends with God forever. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow Him. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow Him. That's right, Kat. He made you just the way you are, and God wants to be friends with you and spend time with you. That sounds so nice. And Mike, Dot, the more time you follow Jesus, the more you become like Him. You learn to be better friends and support one another because you have the friendship and the support of God. I guess it would be nice not to fight so much. I guess I could stand to grow up a little. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. God has done so much for us, and I think it's important for us to think about that and if we want to take the step to become God's friend. There's no better choice you can make. So what do you think? I think it's amazing what the story of Easter and God's grace can do, and not just in a what-if simulation. It changes real-life people's lives every day. That's exactly right. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get back into the Easter spirit, Professor Malcolm. It was my pleasure. Now you're ready to head upstairs to that party? I have one more thing I'd like to do. Hi, I'm Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I have a verse I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. We can't save ourselves from the wrong things we've done. But if we believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and follow Jesus with our whole lives, He'll rescue us and be friends with us forever. All of us deserve punishment for the wrong things we've done. But God's perfect Son, Jesus, loved us so much, He chose to take the punishment we deserve. He died for our sins on a cross. And three days later, God raised Him from the dead. That's what God's grace is all about. God forgiving us and making us pure and clean and friends with Him forever and that friendship changes us for the better. When we're friends with God, He loves us and supports us and makes us more like Jesus. Easter is a time to celebrate because of everything Jesus did for us and because we're able to be God's friend. If you ever find yourself not quite in the Easter spirit like I was earlier, remember this. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow Him. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You should get some of the snacks, Harper. They really are delightful. <laughs> How are you doing now, Harper? Much better. Professor Malcolm helped me work through a few things. I'm glad to hear it. All right, who's ready for our next Easter game? You ready? Let's do it. I had no idea there were so many Easter games. I'm pretty good at the egg hunt, but the egg toss usually doesn't work out for me. Towards the end, I'm pretty sure Mike was just making up games as he went, because there's no way Egg Egg Peg Leg is a real game. 
Jesus took the punishment for your sins by dying on the cross because He wants to be forever friends with you. If you want to make the choice to be friends with Him today, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live in love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Just like Harper learned in the video, our friends' lives and our lives are totally different when we know Jesus and what he did for us. Let's say this verse together again. Ready? Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. My challenge for you today is to go tell your friends about Jesus. Imagine how different their lives could be if they knew what you knew. Have a great Easter. We'll see you back here for our next house party next week.